Hey, how's it going? It's Joseph here. Today, I want to demonstrate a little bit of SketchUp modeling and V-Ray rendering to get a TV screen or LED screen that you saw on the thumbnail. And let's get to it. So I have prepared this model before. It's a little pavilion. If I unhide everything, there's a roof with the skylight in the back. I'm just gonna hide that again. Shift H to hide. Go in here and I'm gonna create the panels. R for rectangle tool and find that corner and click. Move your cursor that way. 10 feet by six feet, enter. P for push pull, highlight that. Click four inches. Triple click that and make that into a component and I'm just going to call it panel 01. Double click, tools, offset or for short, half inch, push pull, half inch as well. And selection tool, come out, escape and highlight that, move tool, toggle on copy with control and move that way, 3x, enter. And now I have the panels created. And R4 rectangle tool again, and I'm just gonna create a surface for putting all the LEDs. L as a line tool. Just click on this endpoint here, move that way one inch, and again down one inch. And if you use C for circle tool, the default sides would be 24. So four enter to make that into four sides as we don't need all 24 sides for this one. So I'm just gonna click there and move that way and 0.5 enter. And E for eraser tool, just clear that up. Selection tool again, double click, M for move, toggle on copy, 1.5 this way, and I'm just gonna type in something like 50X, enter. And obviously that was too much, so 45X, 46X. There you go, and just select that way, and hold down shift key to deselect this edge here. M for move, and I'm just gonna array that down by 1.5 again and type in something like ADX, enter. And you may have to wait a bit for your computer to create this. There you go, double click everything and make that into a group and go in there, all the extra bits, I'm just gonna highlight and delete. And actually if I go in there again, double click, notice how these LEDs are actually stuck on there. So I'm just gonna select by from right to left this way and try to land it to all the LEDs and make sure that you don't hit all the edges there and delete. And it will be also helpful if you just go view, component edit, high rest of the model, then it'll be easier to see everything else. And then use eraser tool to just erase off those edges. And those are gonna be my LED lights and I'm just gonna copy that across. So M for move, six feet again and 2x. The reason why I do that is because I want to leave this panel as just a high resolution TV screen. Okay, there's my four panels. If I just go back to the previous view, um, there are my panels there. And perhaps now is a good time to save. And the next step is to put images onto these screens. Paint bucket tool B for short. Select the default material, create material, and browse for material image file here. And I'm gonna use this specific image for this practice open. And I know it was six feet here, so 24 feet across. And I'm gonna name that as LED image. Zero one, okay. And I'm gonna use this panel as my guide point. So selection tool, double click that and go into that surface. And I noticed that because I made all of these components, if I do anything on here, it will change everything else. So I'm actually gonna come out once and use R4 rectangle tool and actually create a pane here or a face. And then double click that to make it into a group and double click again and B for paint bucket again and apply the image here. I just use selection tool again and right click then I should be able to position the texture so it should be something like this I can just drag that across or actually just use this as my guide point so there you go just come out zoom out and hit enter then actually right click that again texture projected hold down alt key to sample that and come out 
with the selection tool and, and actually go in here and select all and paint bucket tool again and apply the material on here and you will notice that the image has been applied on here just kind of hard to see let me just demonstrate what has gone in so with the surface, you can kind of see what has gone in. The image sort of continues from this image and onwards, but I don't need the background image. So I'm just going to undo that. And if I go in here again, select everything by control A, B for paint bucket tool again, and just apply that there. The same thing over here, double click, select everything and apply the material. Come out, the image should sort of continue from that one to downwards. And, and I'm going to create a darker material for the panels, call it panel one okay and then just apply that to those panels and I still have face here so I'm just gonna go back and delete that so there you go you have a dark panel with some sort of image going on on top and now is again a good time to save after that being saved, I can now launch V-Ray and then V-Ray Asset Editor should show up and if I just use Paint Bucket Tool to highlight that specific material, uh, that should come in just like that. And then use this little button to expand the flyout and there's a little Add Layer button and Emissive and notice how everything's just gone to white and that's definitely not what I want. So go into color and there's a button here and click that and make it into bitmap and use the image that I initially used open and back. Now you'll notice something weird about this where everything gets pixelated like that and that's definitely not what I want. Instead of fixing that, the trick is actually to undo. So undo update V-Ray material once twice and then it should go back but still you'll notice that that's been dedicated for emissive material and V-Ray should respect whatever that we had put down in prior and for the maximum effect I'm just gonna increase the intensity to 2 and I should be able to render this and get TV screen or the LED screen effect for a short demonstration go to settings and make sure my output isn't so high. I'm just gonna type in 800, enter, make sure some of my settings are correct, like the noiser is turned on. And frame buffer should show up and you'll see that how that is sort of emitting light there. There's a lot of light in my scene and the reason for that is because I have the roof still off. So stop that there and if I go into that scene, you'll notice that all of my roof is turned on there. So back there again and just show the frame buffer and hit render again and notice how the scene has gone sort of darker and you can see the screen and once that renders up I should be able to do a little bit of post-processing and get that to looking like the thumbnail I hope you have learned something from this video please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching and I'll see you on the next video thank you and sorry for the voice, I've been coughing constantly. Hopefully I'll be better by the next video.